As a chef, you work hard to build up that great reputation for you and your restaurant by delivering quality food and a brilliant experience. When everything goes well, your guests will talk to their friends and family, and with any luck, you'll get a mention on social media. Life is good, but all that you have built with care and hard working can vanish in an instant. All it takes is one member of staff to ignore your food hygiene procedures, and boom, somebody gets food poisoning. Before you know it, your reputation is shot, and the whole pack of cards will collapse. Food hygiene is not rocket science. The theory is all known, but the kitchen manual that gathers dust is so boring. You might know everything in there, but it's getting the rest of your team to know and follow the necessary procedures. It hardly seems a week goes by without someone new appearing in the kitchen. You have built your reputation. Your guests trust you to deliver food safely. The links between you and your guest is like a chain. The problem with chains is that they are only as strong as their weakest link. All it takes is one supplier to have a temperature problem whilst delivering fresh ingredients, one sous chef to not rotate the food properly, or one prepared ingredient not to be thoroughly heated through, and bang, your reputation is shattered. But don't lose sleep over this. Help is available. We can help you implement HACCP in your kitchens. We communicate the HACCP principles using a system that quickly and easily passes on vital hygiene information to your staff and newcomers in a way that can be consumed and understood. You need us on your team, supporting your reputation. Your eyes and ears alone cannot be everywhere. You need the eyes and ears of all your team to help you too. So, get your entire team up to speed on HACCP fast. By downloading the report now. Hello, my name is uh, Jean, and I'm the uh, the chef with Unilever Food Solutions. This year, it makes me very proud to be able to uh, talk about health and safety, and in collaboration with the um, World Health Day on the 7th of April, we're working together with other groups like the Egyptian Chefs Association, and. We're all going to support the efforts to improve health and safety to the customers who eat our food at the end of the day. When we talk about food safety in a restaurant, there's a number of different principles we have to keep in mind. One of the most important ones is cross-contamination. So we use different knives for different product families. Uh, so poultry gets their own set of knives and cutting boards. Uh, beef uh, or, or meats, uh, red meats get a different set of cutting boards and knives and as well as fish. Chefs and cooks of Egypt housewives included, of course. Food safety is a major concern throughout our country. And it's not only or mainly due to the ambient temperature, which is constantly existing, especially during this spring, autumn, and even during part of the summer season, of course. Food spoilages is a main concern, because if you serve more than just a few people, and even then, food food poisoning cases are a common practice. We know that some states overseas or some countries actually count how many people get food poisoning cases, which we don't. So even then it's far more important for the image of Egypt to ensure our foods are properly handled from the receiving, the cooling down correctly, the utilization of the different products within the guidelines of sanitization, storage conditions, wrapping, cleaning, cooking, and again the holding during a service or in a buffet. Today, the world is all about the 7th of April, the day of the world. And the most important thing to talk about today is the safety of the food. Basically, I would like to talk about uh, what happens in the kitchen and how to be uh, safe as much as possible. At first, um, when food comes, food comes into the kitchen, we have to make sure how to deal with it. For example, if we're dealing with chicken, it's different with meat, it's different with the vegetables and fish. And for every um, ingredient, they have their own cutting board. Um, the raw meat, they have the red cutting board, the vegetables, the green, the chicken is yellow, for dairies and uh, bakery, it's the white. Health and safety is not just about washing your hands or cleaning down in the kitchen. It's about getting food safely to consumers. And it's also about a system that has been put in place 
with the seven principles of HACCP, you can really protect your business um, and its reputation. So it's incredibly important that we drive this campaign successfully as many different organizations together. Uh, there's a cross-contamination obviously from a micro, micro, uh, microbial aspect as well as, you know, from a chef's point of view, a flavor aspect. I mean, I don't want to cut a piece of beef on the same cutting board that I'm using to cut, to, to descale fish. Uh, so it's also about working clean. And one of my chefs, when I first started out, he always used to tell me, work clean. Uh, and what that means is you're cleaning as you go. So as you're doing one task, you finish that task before moving on to the next one, you've cleaned down your station before moving on to the next one. Um, and that's just, these are the sort of principles that, you know, in, in our kitchen we try and adhere to. Um, there's also uh, the, the, the sanitization of product when we receive it. Uh, product has to be received in a correct form as well as uh, cleaned correctly using the correct uh, chemicals if we're using to desanitize le uh, lettuce, for example. We don't want anybody to get sick with E. coli poisoning because of you know, lettuce that was unwashed. I advise you only in one thing. If you can control your temperatures and the weights, you automatically have a big step forward. Washing hands, and sometimes we see still chefs having plastic gloves or these rubber gloves in front of the customers to impress the customer. But when you actually consider what the person does with these plastic gloves, is not, first he's touching the, the fridge door, then he touches the cutting board and then a knife and then so even the food. Now obviously cross-contamination is already existing. So I advise you as one thing I see in one hotel in Hurgade where they actually have every 50 minutes a bell goes off in the kitchen and everybody has to wash their hands. And this is the only safe way to do this. Now washing hands with soap and sanitizer is obvious. And everything, all this together, makes it a step forward. We have a problem with, uh, with food poisoning and it's became, it became more in the uh, kitchen and what's happening in, uh, in the food industry. So we have to act upon this problem and fight it by being aware of how not to have food poisoning and having this problem and issue. Um, by, for example, um, it, first, we have to focus on the hygiene, the personal hygiene of the chef who's cooking. Uh, the nails has to be trimmed, the hair is back. Um, we have to wear uh, safety shoes, um, wearing gloves if you're dealing with raw food, washing the hands every 15 to 20 minutes, um, and uh, as well as making sure that the ingredients are fresh as much as possible. Plastic gloves basically protect you, but not protect the customer from cross-contamination. And when you look at, for example, storage, and when you have, for example, the Unilever food solution range, it's very simple by a proper scale, like one gram scale, to measure a chicken stock of, let's say, 20 gram, you require per liter, or 80 gram for a demi glass or white sauce at 80 gram or 90 gram if you want to make a thick bechamel. All this is there. But again, it's the, the, the proper continuation of all this. Follow the rules and the guideline which is passed on the package and you have at least a successful base. So there's a lot to, to, to keep in mind uh, from a food and hygiene and HACCP aspect in running a kitchen. Uh, when we're also talking about, I mean, we're talking about running a kitchen, so you cannot leave out waste management. Um, one, of the best, uh, one of the best ways to make sure your restaurant is successful and you're, you're, you're really hitting your bottom line and your food cost is to manage, manage your costs and that by extension means managing your waste. Salam al is important for all people, it's important for the owner of the business, it's important for the people who work, it's important for طبعا اهم الجزئيات اللي احنا هنتكلم فيها طبعا مش هنقدر نتكلم فيها كلها لان دي حاجه كتيره جدا ان احنا نتكلم عليها في وقت قصير ولكن من اهم الحاجات ان انا ازاي اكل غذاء امن ده باختصار شديد وسهل جدا ان احنا نتكلم عليه غذاء امن يعني نقله امن حفظه امن طريقه تسويته امنه لحد ما انا اكله بطريقه امنه علشان احافظ على صحتي وصحه اسرتي واحنا كيونو ليفر بندعم اليوم ده ان احنا بن هحتوي طبعا الفود او بنتكلم عليه بشكل علمي وهي طريقه التسويه التخزين النقل 
لحد ما ناكله ان شاء الله ونتمنى لكم صحه دائمه ان شاء الله with the demand of customers wanting more variety every single day it's really important that we manage to reduce complexity in kitchens one way that unilever food solutions can help with reducing that complexity and driving the health and safety agenda is by offering quality products that are specifically tailored to helping chefs really do more about what they love. So I'm very excited this year to be working together with all these different organizations and inshallah together we can really have a safer and more healthier experience for guests and for us who work in the kitchens.